Hello Leo and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 21st of June to the 5th of July 2021. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the Oracle. And this is the Oracle of Tanit that I'll be using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see. What words of wisdom does the mysterious Oracle have for Leo for the 21st of June to the 5th of July 2021. What messages are here for Leo for the next couple of weeks? Oh, okay, you've got one card. What does Leo need to know at this time? Just draw one extra card for you. Let's just take that one. And let's see what you get. So you've got salt that came jumping out. Strength and karmic power. Balance and self-control. Confidence of the equilibrium between spirit and matter. The salt of the earth. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, so, you know, that's about that finding that inner strength with patience and um, perhaps overcoming an obstacle or facing your fears with a compassionate and gentle persuasion and perseverance rather than brute force. But there you've got salt and you've got the orange tree. This is all very grounding. You've got the orange tree, which is very earthy. Find your loyal supporters, one with determination, patience, and common sense. So there you have, you know, your finding your inner strength and your your loyal support, sort of being able to judge and um, find someone or something, and perhaps that could be well within yourself that you know being self-reliant um, choose something someone that is truly grounded and supportive that can help you center face your fears or your adversities with gentle persuasion with perseverance determination patience and common sense so that's really very nice and grounding so let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. Let's see what's on the cards for Leo for the 21st of June to the 5th of July, 2021. What messages are here for Leo for the next two weeks? What does Leo need to know at this time? And this is the Tarot Mucha, which I'll be using today with the eight card spread, with the first two cards depicting you, where you are now in your current situation. The next two cards highlighting the challenges that you face at this time following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the last two cards which may reveal your possible outcome to this time period oops okay that's falling out so what has fallen out the king of wands wow that is that's your card isn't it and then you've got the page of swords that's interesting your challenges the eight of cups and the seven of swords 
there you have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Swords as your guidance. And then you're moving towards the Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Lovely. And there you have the Knight of, of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So... The King of Wands. This is a, the energy here is, is sort of um, unlike the Knight of Wands, which is has, has all that fiery passion, determination, self will, um, sort of the the sense of moving towards something with no trepidation, without as well, out any thought, without any forethought or planning just going for something um spontaneously but recklessly um whereas the, the king of wands has a lot of that drive that passion but he's able to contain it to, and to use it in a more thoughtful way in a more productive way so it's sort of stepping into your own power in and and having that the salt here, having that control, that sense of containment, so slowing down this this vibrant energy, being able to slow it down and being able to um, conduct it or, or sort of put it out in a more productive way rather than just rushing into something passionately. So it's the sense where you are, you're sort of like holding in your passion, holding in your drive in order to do it, to, to use it in a more productive, in a more controlled and um, useful way. And there's also, perhaps this is sort of linked with this need or this realisation of the importance of integrity and honour and using your voice in a um, less abrasive way here you've got the page of um, swords it's all about this energy is all about finding your voice finding your truth um, and again this is a it's sort of a young energy so it's not it's like the knights it's it's a, it's a little erratic it's a little unformed yet so here you are sort of with a with a Perhaps it could be an idea, it could just simply be part of you emerging in a very passionate way, but you're needing to control it so that you can voice it clearly and there's that sense of needing to find your voice, to express yourself. Your challenges now sort of shows... Um, You've got the swords coming in quite a lot here. So it seems to have been the, the energy around you is about conflict and perhaps arguments and perhaps needing to find plans and using integrity, using um, logic thought as well, rather than following this, this, this drive, this strong sense of um, passion and... Um, excitement so it's I get a sense here that there's been some feeling of having been lied to or having been deceived and it's causing you to want to move on from something and that's a challenge that's the difficulty in um, in being able to move on in a peaceful way um, before things are too um, confrontational so the eight of cups is about moving on to something better leaving something behind that was once fulfilling and con you know gave you contentment but it's no longer doing that and rather than stick around until it's totally broken and totally um you know until it comes to a passionate or outburst a head sort of like moving quietly on so there's a sense of hurt and maybe that's where this this 
emotion, this, you, you, something may have riled you or someone may have riled you through their actions or their words that you feel were devious, that may have hurt you and that it certainly seems um, underhanded and there's this need to move away from that in a peaceful way towards something better, rather running away from something, moving towards something better. Um, you see, your guidance card sort of suggests that, you know, it's in a line with the seven, all your swords here are lined up, or well, three of them anyway, and, you know, it sort of shows that something has come to quite a bitter end. And you need to reconcile with that in a loving way. You've got the Knight of Cups. This is about an offer lovingly given or an offer of love. But reading it in the spread, it suggests to me that the, the advice is that you deal with an ending in a, in a peaceable way, in a loving way. Think, you know, with, with dealing with it in a compassionate and... Um, non-confrontational way certainly confrontational in regards to words what you say so it's almost like a gentle retreat to find that peace and find a better place where you can get the love and the recognition and the validation you need rather than having an outright violent verbally violent confrontation but it sort of certainly suggests to you that something has come to a an end abrupt end a painful end or a violent end and now when i say violent i mean a verbally um, explosive end that may have been over um you know, the, 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 the Ten of Swords is like overkill, so this is about an ending that is almost too harsh, unnecessarily harsh, unnecessarily um, volatile. So the, the guidance card sort of suggests rather than have that sort of ending, try and end things in a peaceable way. But there definitely seems to be an ending that's arising from you needing to find your voice, you wanting to express how you feel, how you've been hurt, because there's a sense here that you've been wronged, you've been cheated or lied to, or someone has stolen something from you. And um, certainly you may want to end it, but you need to consider that grounded, measured way of dealing with it, facing that confrontation in a uh, with gentle persuasion or simply by walking away rather than engaging in unnecessarily hurtful words and conflict. If you're able to do that, it shows you being able to put an end to the strife, put an end to the struggle, the mental struggle and take some time to rest, recharge, recuperate, and even see things in a new perspective. And then begin in, to put your focus on the more practical side of your life, rather than this altercation or this interaction. The Seven of Pentacles sort of, this is a card where you've already put things, um, you've, you, you know, you, I get a sense of you being able to lay this, agitation to rest and then focus on something that you may well have already begun and be able to focus on that and see how your um, your progress in a practical way is coming on how you you know it's now ready to um, it can grow on its own so it's almost like a, these cards all focus on dealing with a um, an ending that's come through a confrontation or an ending that's come through a sense of unfairness and how to avoid the worst of the confrontation and then being able to recharge, rest and put your focus on something practical, something that you've been building for a while, something that needs your, your continued care but which has started to grow and develop on its own in any case. So... Um, and through that, you know, through that focus, 
you feel that sense of grounding, that sense of earth. You've got a pentacle card at the end, which is all about grounding, patience, centeredness, calm, plodding on with something. So it sort of almost shows here where you begin. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of passion welling up that needs to be channeled in a more peaceable way rather than confronting something that you feel you've been hurt or someone that you feel has hurt you or a situation that you feel is unfair and it's in some way deceived you or has stolen, taken something from you. Channel that, you know, to approach that in a, in a gentle, compassionate, um, measured way rather than allowing your words to become too abrasive and, and sort of try and avoid the, a bitter ending. Certainly an ending is, is indicated, but you know, do you want to um, mitigate the, the violence in it or the, the abrasiveness in it and then allow yourself to let it go, allow yourself to um, retreat and um, there's that gentle walking away, that moving, you know, sort of taking yourself away from the, the confrontation to rest, retreat, recharge, and then find your focus on something that you've already been building up that you may have forgotten through this time and pick that up and see how far it has developed and how it's able to grow on its own and um, find that grounding, that focus, and that pause. So there you have it, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and then have a good two weeks, and God bless you till we meet again.